starting out, I got these giant glasses from the dollar store, which each was a dollar each, so that's a good deal. And then the smaller ones I got from a little thrift store, but if, I'm sure if you find shot glasses of some sort, it will help you out. And I'm gonna put in the candle wick by melting some hot wax at the bottom and then sticking the candle wick right on the middle. So when you put the candle in, it can burn throughout the I found these candles at the dollar store and I chose candles that had the scent that I wanted and the color that I wanted. If you want to do it from scratch with an unscented candle and use scents and a candle wax dye, then feel free to do that, but I found this was like a cheaper way. And I'm taking these wafers that I've got and a mold putty to make a, a replica of a wafer and ice cream. So. My directions were very simple. Follow your directions on your mold putty. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm cutting up candle pieces and I'm gonna put it um, in a pot. And I'm using the double boiling method where you just have a little pot and a bigger pot with water on medium low heat. Um, I heard you can use the microwave to melt wax, but I like this method so I can keep an eye on the wax to make sure it's melted fully. And after that, I put my wax in molds of aluminum foil, their ice cream molds. I think mine was had leaks in it, so I chose to use parchment paper after, but you can also use mold putty, just whatever works for you. It's like the trial and error process for me. And the leftover wax you're going to put at the bottom of the cup to help... Uh, keep your candle elevated, not sunk in into the corner of the cup at the bottom, if that makes sense. And to do that, I'm going to poke a hole through the ice cream soup scoops so you can put the candle wick right in the middle to lay uh, directly in the middle of your ice cream to uh, melt the wax fully when you light the candle. So I'm taking this red um, apple scented candle to be used as a cherry and I drizzled it on the, into the strawberry ice cream just for like strawberry syrup. And now I'm taking hazelnut cream and I'm melting that which will be used for the caramel sauce on the vanilla ice cream and the brown ice cream. I can't, I debate if that was brownie, like a brownie sundae, because it would kind of look like a brownie, or chocolate ice cream, whatever you prefer, and the miniature candle. When you pour that hazelnut cream wax on top, make sure you get in that little hole where the wax, um, where the wick is coming out of to keep the wick in place and to keep the candle from burning thoroughly. And I'm going to use scraps of leftover wax to use as sprinkles or cookie crumbs, whatever you guys prefer, um, just to use up your supplies. Now I'm going to be using these white unscented candles. Just because your candles already have enough scent, you don't need to keep piling on scent. And I'm melting that and putting it in a glass bowl and just keep whipping it up because it'll eventually get into like a pulp kind of uh, consistency to be used for whipped cream. So I have a Ziploc bag in a cup to be able to just put the wax right in and then snip the uh, tip off and then pipe on the whipped cream as you would with the piping bag. It would be best to start from the candle wick and then move further out and then I'm using actual sprinkles for the strawberry ice cream which is safe to use because sprinkles are pretty much small types of candy wax. And then the same thing for the chocolate when piping on the whipped cream, start from the wick and then move your way out just to keep the wick in place and standing up. And for the wafer, I'm taking that out the mold, it looks perfect with the indents and then I cut that in half and I melt um, the end of the wafer and stuck it into the ice cream, well, the candle, <laughs> it's not actually ice cream.
and you're going to take that hazelnut wax and, and drizzle it on top like I mentioned before and then you could take your cherry out the mold and put it on whatever ice cream you want and cut off the remaining wick to be able to burn it. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting. Like and comment what you would like for me to make next. Bye!